Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, we will discuss how to become a full stack Java developer or the learning path for a full stack Java developer. So in this video, let's discuss what are the tools and technologies that are required to become a full stack Java developer. Well, let's first see who is a full stack developer. Well, full stack developer is an engineer who work on both front end and back end of a application. For example, in a full stack application, we have a front end and we have a back end and we have also a database in this back end we'll talk with the database and front end talk with the back end okay so in a full stack application we typically see these different parts so this is a front end and this is the back end and this is the database front end is also called a client and back end is also called a server and this is the database okay so full stack developer is the engineer who work on both front end back end and also full stack developer have to know about the database as well all right so so this is the end to end full stack application development and full stack developer is the one who can develop this complete full stack application from start to end now we pretty much understood who is a full stack developer and if you can notice here the title full stack java developer well here we are using java because we are going to develop a backend using java that's why the title full stack java developer so full stack java developer is the one who can work on both front end and back end using java and also he have to know about the database as well all right now let's see what are the tools and technologies that a full stack java developer have to know in order to work on full stack java development well in order to become a full stack java developer we have to know both front end and back end so let's first see what are the tools and technologies that you need to know to work on front end application development so first of all you need to know about html and then css and then javascript So these are the web fundamentals that you have to know in order to work on front-end application development. And here we use HTML to develop the web pages and CSS to style the web pages and JavaScript to manipulate the DOM elements. All right. So in order to work on front-end application development, we have to know these three web fundamentals first. Okay. So once you are familiar with these web fundamentals, next you can go ahead and learn you know front-end framework well there are three popular front-end frameworks first is angular and then react and next view js so these are the three popular front-end frameworks and in order to work on front-end application development we have to at least know one of these three front-end frameworks okay you need to know either angular or react or view js and I am going to suggest start with React.js because React.js is a component based library and it is very simple to learn React and it is very simple to use the React. Okay, so at a beginning, go ahead and check out React.js framework in order to work on front end application development. All right, well, once you learn one of the front end framework, next you need to learn CSS framework or CSS library. Well, there are a few popular CSS frameworks or libraries which we can use to style our web application pages for example we have a bootstrap css framework and next we have a tailwind css framework next we have material ui css framework so these are the popular CSS frameworks or libraries we can use to style our web application web pages. Okay, so make sure that you will learn one of these CSS frameworks or libraries. Next, you need an ID to develop the front end application. So here I am going to suggest using Visual Studio Code ID to develop the front end applications. So apart from these tools and technologies, you need to also learn about Node.js. So Node.js basically provides a package, you know, manager that is npm 
So in order to manage the JavaScript packages, you need to know about npm or yarn. Okay. So in Java, we have Maven, right? So Maven basically manages the dependencies and in front end, we have npm or yarn. So these are the tools that we can use to manage the JavaScript, you know, JavaScript packages at a front end. Okay. So it is good to know about npm and yarn in order to manage the JavaScript packages in a front end application. All right. So these are the tools and technologies that you have to know in order to work on front end application. Next, let's jump on backend. So here I want to suggest the tools and technologies that you need to learn to work on backend application development. So first of all, you need to know Java, right? So learn all the hoops concepts, exception handling and collections and also learn Java 8, you know, features like Lambda expression, stream APIs and also learn, you know, date time APIs and also learn method references. All right. So learn everything about Java 8 features and learn the core Java fundamentals like hoops concepts, collections, exception handling and learn string handling arrays. All right. All the Java fundamentals. So once you learn Java, next learn Spring Boot. Well, Spring Boot is a, you know, very popular Java framework that we can use to develop the RESTful web services as well as microservices. And in this full stack application development, we can use Spring Boot to develop the RESTful APIs. Okay. Next, once you learn Spring Boot to develop the REST APIs and expose the REST APIs, next, you need to learn about Spring Data GPA. Well, we use Spring Data GPA to develop the repository layer or a DAO layer in a Spring based application. And this Spring Data GPA internal uses Hibernate as a GPA provider. Okay. By default, Spring Data GPA internal uses Hibernate as a GPA provider. Next, you need to learn Spring Security. Well, Spring Security is a de facto standard in order to secure web applications as well as REST APIs in Java. So make sure that you learn Spring Security in order to secure the REST APIs. So along with Spring Security, you need to also learn about JWT in order to implement token based authentication. Next, you need to learn the build tools in Java. So we have Maven or Gradle. So these are the popular build tools in Java in order to manage the dependencies in a Java projects. Okay. So make sure that in order to work on backend application development, we have to know about Java, Spring Boot, Spring Data JPS, Spring Security, along with that JWT. And also you need to learn about the build tools. Okay. So apart from front end and backend technologies, the full stack Java developer also have to know the databases. For example, here are DBMS databases, for example, MySQL database, PostgreSQL database, or MSSQL server, or Oracle. Apart from front end and back end, a full stack Java developer also know about the popular databases like MySQL database, or PostgreSQL database, or Oracle database, or MSSQL server database. So apart from front end, back end and databases, a full stack Java developer also good to know about the Git or SVN. So these are the version control system tools that we can use to manage the source code. Next, full stack Java developer also need to know about, you know, deploying the full stack application in a cloud. So it is good to know about AWS or Google Cloud. Okay, so in order to deploy a full stack application, a full stack Java developer have to know about the, you know, popular cloud platforms like AWS or Google Cloud or any other, you know, cloud platforms like Azure or Oracle. Okay, well, these are the tools and technologies that a full stack Java developer have to know in order to work on full stack Java development. And these are the bare minimum things I have listed over here. But apart from these tools and technologies, you may encounter, you know, other libraries or frameworks or technologies whenever you work on real time full stack, 
you know java development let me know if you have any questions on this topic in a below comment section okay great i will see you in the next video